Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to Fingers Valley in Transport Fever 2. Right, okay, so I've let the time wind forward just a little bit from last episode. And that was so that uh, the loan could get paid off and, uh, and some cash could be available for doing another project, right? Uh, that's uh, that's going to be important if I want to do another project now, isn't it? Now, you can see here, in the past uh, three accounting periods, uh, there's been uh, a million six, four million, and a shade under a million uh, for uh, net income. So, uh, this one must have been a payoff on uh, freight lines delivering. Anyway, uh, that means that the money situation is such that as long as I don't do anything hugely, ex stupidly expensive with no payoff, the, uh, uh, the company will remain solvent and I'll be able to continue uh, operating. Right. Now, uh, I'm going to let this tick along for just a little bit while I uh, uh, talk about what I'm planning to do uh, this episode. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to run a rail line from uh, Worcester or Worcester or whatever. I'll, I'll, call, it, uh, I'll call it something. I'm going to run it from here. And it's going to come all the way up. It's going to bounce through Atlanta. And from Atlanta, it's going to head up to Arvada. Right? That's going to be, uh, that's going to be the project. Now, I'm going to start with the leg between Arvada and Atlanta. Now, looking at Atlanta... Both of these platforms are used. Oh, um, let's uh, let's split them. Okay. So looking at at Atlanta, both the platforms are used, right? So I'm going to add a couple more platforms uh, for a through line here. So two more tracks, right? And we need one of those. And we'll stick some some of those on there. Right. Now, this will allow me to run a track. Now, how am I going to get the track over to Arvada? Well, I think the thing to do is to run through this gap here. And then come down through here. Punch through the, uh, the ridge and then come around in like this. Okay. So the first thing we need to do is get our tracks out of uh, Arvada. Yeah, that does seem like a plan. Okay. So if we do it like this, level. Yep. Yeah, if, if we do it like this, this is going to be uh, the expensive part. Uh, okay, so we'll do that. Uh, no, do this. Yeah. And this. And this. Okay. That gets that out of there. Uh, I'll probably need a cross over here, so I'll uh, I'll put those in. Yeah. Now, uh, we're aiming to punch through this ridge here, so I need to aim through here on this side of the refinery. So, actually, what I want to do is find out. What's the elevation here? Um, so the elevation here is 
9.7 meters. What's the elevation here? 11 meters. So I'm only going up uh, a meter or so uh, on the whole way. So I do kind of want to keep it flat. Okay. Uh, right. Or flat-ish, anyway. So we can come around like this, flat. Yep. Oh, I think that lines up perfectly. Um, yeah, I think it does. Uh, so. Oh, yeah, that will line up nicely. Okay. Good. Uh, do this. Whack that in. Yep. Uh, dual track because I'm going to need multiple trains on this. Uh, does this get get past? It does. Good. I don't have to modify anything there. And I'm going to punch through here. Um, well, what do we get if I just do, do this? Hmm. Well, a cheeky tunnel there is fine. What happens if I make this a cut? Ooh, no. No. No, here. Yeah, make that a tunnel. You know what? I think it's probably better if I go around. Okay. Right. So if I go around this way, still have the cheeky tunnel there. No. I don't think I uh, I got that uh, quite exactly. You know what? Yeah, I think that's maybe slightly better. Level it. Okay. I probably just built the same thing over again, didn't I? So we go around this way. Yeah. And then we can pop out. No, if we go around here, then we can pop through here. Uh, let's take a look at where we're popping out here. Uh... Right about there. Well, we need to we need to angle this way. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, we'll come up a little bit further and then do this. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's better. Yeah, as we go through here. Yeah. Yeah, we'll go through there. So do this. Uh, probably want to come around like this. Maybe over to here. And then up like this. What does this look like as a cut? You know what? I'll allow it. Uh, but we'll back this up. Do that. Okay. Which side of the track is this? Ah, it's that side. Then we come up this way. Uh, about like that, yeah? And we. Oh, yeah, through there. Actually, we can come through here. Okay. So if we do this, and then we come around like this, how's that as a cut? 
Hmm. Quite deep. Uh, if I come up to here, and then I do this. You know what? I'm going to make the canyon there, just for, uh, just for giggles. Okay. And then you come up like this. Yep. Then we come through this wide gap here. Okay, good. Okay, we come around like this uh, to here. Yeah, like this. Yep. Yeah. And this comes out like this. Good. Now, I need to get uh, tracks coming out of here. This will be easy. Yeah, it should go up to about here. Yep. Um, and then this comes along like this. That does get it all the way through. Okay. So if we... Uh, just build the other track. You know, I thought about single tracking parts of this, but it didn't seem like it was going to be extremely beneficial. Um, yeah, it just, it just didn't seem like it would be particularly beneficial to do that. Uh, okay, we come around... We okay here have another road crossing. Yeah. Okay. Good. Now around here another road crossing. What? Yeah. Okay, that's good. Um, right. Okay, we got that. Then around here, up to there. Well, that is a complete... That's a complete track. Um... Ultimately, if I want to uh, run a line over directly from Ann Arbor and Tempe, I can also pick up this track here, and we can double it in this way. Right? Uh, so that's, the, I, that's an idea there. I might do that at some point. I think I might have talked about that a couple episodes ago. I don't remember. Um, now, from Atlanta, uh, where do we cross the river? Um, there's no good place to cross the river. There really isn't a good place. Uh, so I think I'm going to end up going straight out this way. Uh, maybe punch through here. Or come through this gap and then across the river somewhere around here and we will be coming downhill or come around yeah because i want the no it doesn't matter um this guy's on his own on the uh on that bit of land okay well uh the first thing to do is Start building the track. Yeah. Okay. Good. There we go. We have the first bit of track. Which... Uh, 
what I'm going to do, I want to check. So we're at 11 meters there. What are we at over here? Uh, we're at 11, 12 meters if we go back there. Now what's here? 20 meters. 40 meters there. Hmm. Uh, 50, okay, right, okay, uh, you, you are just going to go around sharply. Yeah, I'm just going to bend it around. Um, I'm going to punch it through here. Because I think that's the only sensible way to get through there. Come on, hit straight. Yeah. Punch it through there. There's a sharp corner right at the, uh, the station there is fine. Um, right. You know what? I'm going to back that up a bit, and we're going to allow it to go uphill. Yep. Up to there. Now, this needs to bend this way. Right. And cross about here, I think. Okay, well, it can bend. We can viaduct across here, actually. Uh, how high up is that? That's higher than it needs to be. Okay. Uh, what's the height here? 17 meters. Okay. Maybe I don't uh, do that. Okay. So we want to bend around this way. Like that. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, like that. Now, okay, we get a viaduct. You know what? I think I like that. <clears throat> Maybe not as a viaduct all the way, but... Uh, I think it's acceptable otherwise. Okay. Then... We need to get across here. Say like that. Hmm. That allows boats under. Okay. Right. Not that I expect to need boats, but it allows them. Okay, now here. Good. Now we're out of cash. But this brings us to ground level. Okay, now we can just follow along the road here. Yeah. Yeah, following along the road is probably what I want to do there. Which means I should probably bend like that. Yeah. And then we can go around like this. Well, not with that kind of... Uh, Capital shortage. Um, not that kind of tunneling either. Uh, okay, so we come across like that. Yeah. 
go across here. Yep. Go around here. Yep. Okay. Then we can go around here. Yep. Then around here. Yep. Okay, uh, straight bit. Okay, we need a station now. Uh, building, uh, one platform terminal station. Yep. Uh, and that seems like it would be an appropriate angle. Uh, that's going to cost a chunk. Let's borrow a chunk. Okay. And we'll zoom in here so we can see. Okay, we got tendrils. Bam. Okay. That'll work. Now. Track. Which side of the track is that? It's the other side. Okay. Well, if I bring this out. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is probably ride this. Uh, right. Okay. Come up to here. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Okay that and this right okay now from here we can go out flat right yeah we can do this Okay, so we've got a level crossing and a tunnel. Um, what happens if I do this? You know what? That's acceptable, I think. Good. Uh, so here. Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, connect that bit and connect this bit. Good. Signals. I uh, need one there. Uh, we can space these out a little bit. I think I'm going to need about five trains on here. Okay, here. Right in here. Right. This is always tedious. Um, of course, it's always fun from the orbital bombardment view like this uh, here here and here and here and we'll need one here and maybe a pair of them here okay that is a line. 
Now, it's taken us 20 minutes to build that. Um, yeah. Uh, let's just um, max out the loan. Yeah. Now, we're going to buy a vehicle. And it's going to be steam. And this guy does 55 with 190 kilowatts. Yeah, we'll take this guy. We'll do passengers. Now, the Bavarian passenger car does 50. The passenger car does 50. They're both the same loading speed. This guy is 7 tons. That guy's 20 tons. So, for 14, 20 tons. Yeah, okay, we'll go with the uh, Bavarian passenger car. Uh, I'm going to go with a fairly long train here. 96 capacity uh, because it is a long haul and uh, it's basically flat uh, so since it's basically flat and it's a long gap between towns it should be able to get up to speed uh, and that should allow me to put three of them on here buy okay new line goes from Arvada yeah to Atlanta to Worcester to Atlanta and back again, right? Uh, so this is going to be Arv to Wars Intercity. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, now, if we go in here, we, you know, we go and look over here, uh, we can grab this guy, yeah, right, we can grab this guy and up the tempo, and let's just uh, observe this whole affair here. So, we're going to pick up nobody in Arvada, because of course we are. And then, we're going to tool around along through the valley flats here. Uh, we are going to get up to 50. Yes, we are. Good. Horn works. Okay, tunnel. Oh, that's that's nice. Uh, that is definitely a cheeky tunnel. Definitely a good call winding around that big hill in there. Uh, that works. And then we punch through the ridge in a reasonable tunnel. Do some winding here. Do more going through cuts. Yeah. Actually, not bad. Not bad at all. These things uh, sometimes turn out pretty good when you're uh, when you're not uh, paying all that much attention. Again, more cuts, and that is uh, acceptable. Crash into a wildlife. I. Uh, yeah, I do like the uh, the dry uh, the dry biome uh, with the uh, uh, the Badlands desert type biome. It you get some really nice uh, nice looking uh, Badlands style uh, um, cliffs and so on, cliffs and plateaus and mesas. Okay. We should be coming out to Atlanta real soon now. There's Atlanta. 
Are we... Oh, yep, there are people to pick up here. That's good. Uh, yep. 13 people. Nice. Now we head, uh, head out to the uh, river. And on to the viaduct. You know what? The viaduct is appropriate. Uh, we've got a little bit of a hump going over the, the water. But nothing serious. You barely notice it, really. Then we've got a bit of a climb here. Right. I really should grade separate that. Um, that's really about the only way I'm going to get the uh, bumpiness out of that crossing. Um... But yeah, I think it's I think it's acceptable that's just that little bit of bumpy there is probably fine, especially for 50k trains. Wildlife. Bear. Tree. Wildlife. Factory. Road. Bear. And we have a place where we are going to pick up 37 passengers. Well. Uh, well, that tells me the line is going to work. So, uh, maybe what I'll do now is start working on... Ooh, this guy's going away. Okay. I might start working on the industries on this uh, this um, uh, inter interchannel bit here. It's not really an island, I think. Maybe I'll work on on that. Uh, but anyway, let's um, let's go in here. Now uh, we're uh, uh, losing money now, so I might have. I might have a couple too many trains on here. Might have one too many trains at least on here. Uh, let's uh, let's check in on here. We'll sort by balance. Yeah, too many trains on there. Or too or the trains are too long. Um, let's manage vehicle. We will we'll sell one of them. I'm gonna definitely keep two on there. Uh, okay, so then we go in here. Yeah, I'm going to keep two trains on there. And that should... That should reduce the, uh, the running costs. Uh, it's running... Hmm... Uh... 20% full, so... I think the trains are too long, but letting it bed in for a little bit is probably smart. See, if we go and look in here, yeah, we're up. Okay, the trains are potentially breaking even. Yeah, that's what we need. Let's repay some of the loan while we're uh, poking around here. Uh, it'll save us a few a few dollars. Okay. Right. Well, anyway, that'll be a thing uh, that I'll uh, I'll have to deal with. Uh, I will almost certainly run this forward a little bit uh, between episodes, and then we'll see where the money situation is. If I have to do anything about the money situation, I will. Oh, um, what I probably should do no here 
is uh, okay. It's one point one nine eighty. Okay, the trains are too long. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Modify. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, the, the trick here is to get this down enough that it doesn't wipe out all of our uh, uh, existing um, money uh, uh, operations here, right? Uh, 870k in the hole we can probably absorb but uh, more than that uh, I don't know that we can the trick is we want to keep this the train number above this number by a decent margin so that we could pay for this number right 800k yeah okay right I'm going to leave it there uh, with this long train line just uh, constructed. Uh, it does look like it will be a functional line ultimately. Uh, I can certainly improve behavior by adding some local transport in Atlanta as well. Yeah. Anyway, uh, you know, that's going to be all for this episode. Uh, let's, um, I'll just mention, uh, I have a Patreon. Uh, the link should be in the doobly-doo. And uh, if you want to, you know, give some, give a couple bucks to support the channel, great. Uh, Patreon's there. I'm not monetized, so uh, at this point in time, so it's kind of the only real option. Anyway, uh, that's going to be all for now, so see you back next time.